So what's going on around the shop as far as computer repair is concerned? Well, in these boxes in this room is a ton of computer parts that I'm going to get rid of. And most of it's going to be scrapped. And I thought I would show some of it off because you guys, a lot of you subscribe because of the computer stuff. But uh, this is all things that I used to use that uh, I don't think I'll need anymore. But uh, I haven't sorted it all out yet. I see some AC adapters here that I'll definitely keep. But I thought I'd just do a quick update video on uh, what I've been doing around here as far as computers are concerned. So as you can see, there's a couple boxes of AC adapters and some plugs and wires, and I'll be using those for sure. Look at that. Look at that thick wire right there. 14 3 gauge. Old power supplies. This is an HP one. A lot of these HP power supplies used to power HP monitors. Great big ones. But you can never have enough AC cables. So I'll keep those. But like here, LCD screens that's exactly what's in that box all these are screens and I used to keep them because a lot of times you could take the uh, fluorescent tubes out of them and use them for other screens so some are cracked and some have inverters that are still connected to them that I could use over here these are a bunch of fans, and I've always collected fans. I, I don't know why. I've just collected fans. I I felt bad about throwing them away, but you know what? As you take apart enough computers, you end up with a trillion fans. So most of these screens look used. I'm sure all of them are, actually. And some of them are still good that I've taken out of laptops. But I just don't need them anymore, you know? So I'm going to get rid of them. Sort out a few of the, the good ones, you know. I'll keep a few of everything. Look over here in the back here. We have Ethernets. Ugh. There's more down there. There's some more fans in this box. Fans everywhere. Here's some unusual cards here. I guess not real unusual. This is a 66. So this is an ATA card that uh, runs like hard drives. So you can get two more IDE hard drives on here with this card. PCI card. Here's another one a little bit faster. 133 megahertz. So these cards are still useful. Look at that. There's an older video card. Look at all the outputs on that thing. Holy smokes. So this is a Trident card. PCI. Diamond. Remember Diamond? So that has all kinds of outputs on it. It looks like um, that was one of the type that came with that external box that you could plug in RCA stuff. These are all like plastic pieces, you know, that would block bays. You could block up bays with these. Here's some hard drive rails. Typically, I think these were in Dells, weren't they? Here's some shielding. Oh, look, more fans. See, I got a fan fetish. I mean, these look great. I can't see throwing those away. And I have some more down on the floor. Let's go over there. So I've got a ton more fans here. Look at this one. That looks like it might light up. That's a pretty good sized fan. That's like a, what, four inch or so, isn't it? There's a card reader. Like an ID card for the government. 
processor fans with the cool block still on them. Here's some interesting cards here. There's a dual monitor video card. Here's a VGA and HDMI on a single card. That's an earlier one, isn't it? Brown circuit board. Yeah, more of the same. These are cages for hard drives for a server. Look at what that one says right there. 182 gig. Wow. There's a giant pile of video cards in here too. These are just like small ones, you know. I have my share of video cards. Anybody need a credit card terminal? I've got that box full and then this box too. So I think I'll take these boxes to Goodwill. These are full of keyboards. See them down there? A couple boxes of keyboards. There's some speakers. There's more speakers under here. There's some laptops. Need a laptop? There's more laptops there. Most of these are, um, I think this side is SATA and this side's IDE. CD-ROMs and DVD players. There's more here. Look at there. Floppy drives. Yep. Down here we have Ethernet cards. Some more speakers. Mice. Small hard drive box right there. There's some more speakers back in there. These are enclosures for external um, CD and DVD players. Speaking of CD and DVD player, I got a few of those too. I'm getting rid of all this stuff. I'm just going to keep a, a little of each. Yep. So where are all these parts coming from, you might ask? They're coming from right inside this room right here. And this big hole in the wall used to have this big machine here. It's a photo processor. And um, it used to process photos like this up there. I'll put a picture of the processor when it used to be in there. Anyway, some work's going inside that room. That's my old dark room. Let's go in there and I'll show you what's happening. So here it is. Here's the old dark room. You can tell we've got it all tore apart. We're going to remodel the entire room. And what are we going to do with this room? Well, we're going to turn it into what it is now. A photo and digital editing room. Except in a digital realm. Before this was analog, if you will. Working with silver and chemicals. And big giant processors like what's right there. But uh, yeah, we're going to bring in digital editing equipment, and this will be its dedicated room. I think it'll make a really good room for that. It's got dedicated power there on the wall. You can see the strip that comes down here. Now it does have um, those cables coming down are for the DVR system, the security system. There's some of the equipment there for it. That'll have to remain, but... Uh, yeah, I think this will make a really promising room. We're going to repaint it and, you know, remodel it and start bringing in equipment. So this is where the equipment came from. We haven't used this room for a while because, you know, the dark room wasn't needed. So we stored computer supplies in here and parts. And so that's why we're moving it all out cleaning up 
And that's why I'm showing you this video because I've been busy working on this room and haven't had a lot of time to make videos. So that's what we're up to. And make sure you watch us on Saturday. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.